What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen today's video is a special one. We got ourselves a banger today. We got ourselves Red's team from the original Pokemon. It is crazy team. It's Pikachu, Lapras, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and Snorlax. I cannot wait to get into this but shout out to my boy Ricky for dropping this team. It's looking hype and hopefully we can get some wins on this rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped Make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. But I saw this team a little bit back, used by some other YouTubers, and I was just like, yo, if I ever get my hands on this team, I would love to make a video. And now's my chance, and I got it. Now I'm hyped for it. But starting out in our front position, we got ourselves Lapras over here. I believe it's G-Max Lapras with Shell Armor and that Light Clay. We can actually go into G-Max Resonance, get that uh, Aurora Bell rolling. We also got Hydro Pump, Freeze Drive, Paris Song and protect Pikachu on the right side heart and soul of Red's team or Red's normal Pokemon is Pikachu we got it with the focus ash and the lightning rod and the lightning rod is going to help us out with for our Lapras our Blastoise and our Charizard so that's going to be huge we got T-Bolt, Nuzzle, Fake Out and Helping Hand we got my face cam the one and only Charizard big bulky absolute beast Pokemon right here with Blaze and Life Orb as its item Heat Wave, Air Slash both for stab Scorching Sands for our coverage move and protect as our final move Blastoise, the next starter. We got Blastoise, the water starter. Rain Dish, I pop a berry, liquidation, body press, iron defense, boost that defense, and life do from her HP all around. So relax, bottom left corner, thick fat, assault vest, fire punch, rock slide, superpower, and double edge. Just an absolute attacking Pokemon with three coverage moves, one stab, and then an assault vest to give it some more bulk for special attacking moves. Then in the final spot is our final spot starter, the grass starter, Venusaur with chlorophyll, and citrus berry with energy ball, sludge bomb, sleep powder, and protect. Guys, you want to shout out this team for yourself? Run to code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. I'm hyped for this one. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder and try to get some wins with Red's team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy has like a half Trick Room team, kind of like mid-speed team as well. He's got Mimikyu, Galarian Slowbro, Regilecki was very, very fast, can set up screens as well, Tapu Lele, Gudra, and Torkoal. So hopefully maybe Torkoal sets that sun for us, then my Charizard can shine and my Venusaur can get that double speed. But who should I go out into as a lead? I kind of want to lead Pikachu considering we have that fake out, we can nuzzle around, so yeah, Pikachu, get up in here, my dude. I could G-Max Pikachu too. I could go for that and just uh, go for G-Max Bull Crash and get the double paralyzed if I really wanted to, but that's an option. Um, who else should I lead into? Hmm. I mean, if you lead Regilecki, that's fine. I have the Lightning Rod. I don't want to go Lapras here. I kind of want to go Lapras to kind of set my own weather, control that on my own. I have a Resonance. I feel like Lapras is, is an all-around pretty good Pokemon. Bring Blastoids for that Rain Dish, and then in the final spot, do we go Charizard, Snorlax, or Venusaur? Hmm. Hmm. What do I really want here? Let me see the Charizard Snorlax, I feel like. I feel like Venusaur really doesn't do too, too much here. I mean, it has to Sleep Powder, but then that thing could be Sap Zippered. I feel like a Charizard with that Life Orb. Potential Dynamax Pokemon there, too, as well. Based on something happens to Lapras. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Let's get it, yo. I'm hyped for this team. Like, yo, I saw this team. Ricky sent it in, and I was just like, bro. It's looking fire. It's looking fire. Once I saw Red team, I was like... I clicked on the picture. I was like, yo, all the stars. We got Lapras, Pikachu, and Snorlax. We're rocking out. It just brings so much, like, nostalgia back. I absolutely love it. But let's roll. Let's see if we can get ourselves a win. I'm hoping we get ourselves at least one, maybe two wins with this team. Slowbro comes out with the top of Lele. Okay, that's fine. He's going to set the Psychic Surge. That is just dandy. I can fake out. Actually, yeah, I can fake out. No, I cannot. It's Psychic Surge. So I cannot fake out. It looks like I'm just going to go for Nuzzles and all that stuff. Slow down these Pokemon. Put them on Paralyze. I think I'm going to Paralyze that uh, the Lele first and foremost. First and foremost, the Lele gets paralyzed. I cannot go for a fake out. So Lele, get out my face. I'm going to Dynamax. And I am going to drop a Resonance over onto the Slowbro. Try to do some damage on this thing. And then set the rain next turn for my or not Snorlax for my uh, blast so it's actually get a little bit a little bit of rain dish and better water damage or more damage to its water moves when it rains around. But again, he could have that torque on the back, which I wouldn't be surprised for. And then I have my Charizard for that fire, which can actually help it out a lot. So we'll see what this thing does. That breeze. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Pikachu, does Pikachu have to speed everything? Does not. Tapu Lele's gonna go for a second. I'm totally fine with that. Pikachu's gonna go next. We're gonna get off a nice little nuzzle buzzle. Yo, get out my face, boy. Get out my face. That psychic did a did a decent amount. But now we got the residents out here. Everything's gonna do less damage. We'd love to see it. We still have our sash. Slowbro's gonna take some nice damage here. Yes, sir. Bring him down. Bring him down, baby. And then I feel like I just drop a water onto the left side on the Lele, and I start t bolting over on that right side. Just keep passing. Or I can help it him if I really wanted to. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a trick room. That's totally fine by me. The Lele did did outspeed both my Pokemon, right? 
Yeah, the Lele did outspeed, but probably not anymore, which is kind of annoying. It is kind of annoying. But yeah, we're going to go for a T-Ball here, and I am going to set this geyser. I'm going to set the geyser. And Trick Room kind of helps me out just a little bit. It's like not like terrible. It's not like we have a super, super fast team with like tailwinds and all that stuff. Oh, he is going to get the quick draw, man. It's whack. He's going to quick draw. He's, he's going to go for an expanding force. Pikachu does eat up, which is dandy. And is this thing going to go for an expanding force? He's going to go for a psychic. Double up through Pikachu. That's fine. Pikachu kind of did, did decent. Did decent. He was just there. He was just there. <laughs> got a nuzzle off. Wasn't able to do fake out. Here goes my geyser. And now I'm going to get out Blasters. I got Rain Dish uh, popping here, which I really, really like. Top of is going to take some damage. And then I think we can pick up a double kill here. But yeah, we should be we should we should be doing pretty decent. Get Blastoise out here. Blastoise, baby. Let's get it. I could iron defense. I could if I really want to. But he probably has a lot of special attackers in the back end. Let's see. Let's see his team. Let's see his team. It's special attackers. Yeah, besides uh besides Mimikyu. So there's really no point of bulking up on an iron defense. Uh, just liquidation. Start dropping some people. Got liquidation into a slow bro. And then I think we just geyser again. We just geyser over on the Lele slot. Should be thriving. We should be thriving. We should be doing pretty good here. Band of Force comes out again. Let's see eats, which I love to see. Can we get a Paralyze on this thing? No, we're just going to drop a Psychic. Yo, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Eat up, Blast. Let's see eating up. I still have my eye pop a berry, so if somebody can do like a little bit more damage, we should be good, but I don't know how this match is going to turn out, considering he still has a Dynamax. I wish I would have been able to take out one before my final move with Dynamax. But he does still have Dynamax. We are going to pick up the double kill here. And I really do wonder who is going to come out here. Liquidation should KO. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Rain Dish coming out here. Yes, sir. I don't have to protect on this thing, I don't think. I do have Life Do, which isn't bad. I might actually Life Do this turn. I might actually Life Do this turn. If I can. I still have my Eye Papa Berry, which is huge. Torkoal's going to come out. Alright. That's fine. Torkel and Mimi Mimi Poo. Mimi Mimskis. Hmm. Drought is upon us. I cannot change up weather. So we do have Charizard, though. We do have Charizard. I think he is going to Dynamax Torkoal, which is <laughs> rather scary, though. Let me just double up in this Torkoal. Try to get after this thing. I could perish. I could perish. Now let's just go higher. Let's double up in the Torkoal slot. He's gonna, he's gonna do some work on us, even though it's not very effective. Ah, uh, dang, Torkoal, yeah, he's gonna erupt here. Bruh. Water Pokemon, eat it up somehow. I love you guys. I pop a berry, come out. I pop a berry, comes out. And is this thing sword dancing? This thing could sword dance. But this would be huge if we could take out this uh, Torkoal here. So we need both the things to hit. There's a Hydro Pump. Can we take out Torkoal with this? Not just with the Hydro Pump, with this and the Liquidation. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. This rough news, Liquidation comes out. Come on, KO, Blasters. So, what's up? Get out of my face. Mm. Bulky little boy with the with the uh with the drought. Here comes that sword dance. His Mimi's setting up. His Mimi is setting up. The Blastoise should be able to eat and take out Torkoal, no problem. Let me just protect the Lapras. Yeah, let's just protect the Lapras this turn. Mimikyu's gonna go last. Is he gonna sword dance again? <laughs> that is scary actually. <laughs> he, he's gonna come out here. Blastoise should be able to eat up and take out the Torkoal. He's sword dancing again. Dude, he's setting up. Blastoise does eat. Liquidation comes out. Oh my lord. I'm, I'm terrified. He still has his disguise. He still has his disguise. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna go for, for a play rough over on that slot. Eat up, eat up, eat up. Alright. Why is he in Dynamax? Why is he in Dynamax? I don't know why he hasn't. Things are turning to normal. None of that. Still has that disguise. Charizard is coming out here. I do get the heat damage. I know he's gonna come after me, which is scary. I know he's gonna come after me. So I think I might protect this turn. I think I protect this turn. And I take off his disguise. I think that's the play. I think I take off his disguise here. Good. He's gonna Dynamax and go after Charizard. He's like Charizard's the threat. So he's gonna go after Charizard. And I'm hoping I can take off that disguise and then hit him with a solid heat wave. Be able to roll out from there. So we're gonna see here. We need him to go after Charizard. We just like that's a fact. We need him to go after Charizard. If not, it's, it's game. He's plus two. We need that disguise off out of here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what you do, Mimmies. Charizard comes through with the protect. Show me you're going after. Show show it to me. 
Give it, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Max Phantasm over on Charizard. What you mean? You went after that Lapras? No, you did not. No, you did not just do that. Bro, no, he did not just do that. He did not just do that. That was a good play. That was a good play. No way. No way, man. All right, Heat Wave's coming out here. We need a burn. We need a burn. We need a burn. And we miss. And we miss. And now it's game. And now it's game. <laughs> Yo, GG. That was actually a solid game. I feel like if we would have hit my Charizard, we would have had a fighting chance there. We would have had a fighting chance there. It would have been pretty close. But that's a game. We got 0-1 for first battle. Had a good one. But we can hop into our second battle and look for our first win. I'm actually scared for this second battle. He has a star-studded team with one of the better Ultra Beasts with Nihilego, Galarian Moltres, Mamoswine has been seeing a lot of play on the top tier rank ladder. Um, Wimscott, obviously great support mod, Cinerace, and Spectre. Looking real tough, looking real tough. Looking like your boy's gonna go 0-2, but we're gonna roll out. I think I gotta lead Peak again for that fake out. Did we lead Charizard here? I mean, Charizard wouldn't be bad. I can fake out and roll out after that, but then he has that Mammoth Swine, and I feel like he's gonna lead the Mammoth Swine and Whimsicott. Hmm. So, for that case, I kind of want to lead Lapras. Just kind of want to lead Lapras here. Might lead Nehalego. Nehalego dumps on my Charizard as well. It's probably Sash. I think we lead Lapras. Get Charizard out here. Then, in the final spot, I want kind of Blastoids. Yeah, let's go Blastoids. I think we're gonna go same squad here. I kind of like this one. I don't like it. I'm kind of like, let's roll out. Let's roll out. But I wanted to lead Charizard so bad, but like Mammoth Swine definitely has Rock. And then same thing if he leads Nihilego, who's usually a pretty solid lead whenever he's on like a team. Nihilego is usually a lead. Uh, at least when I play, I usually lead him. He's solid. He's usually sashed up. He can Meteor Beam, get a plus one, and then pretty much pick up a free KO. Let's see who he leads. It's gonna be. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Whimscott and Mammoth Swine. I kind of saw this. This is, this. this is fine. I can fake out the Whimsy. Which is fair. If I fake out the Whimsy, I could drop a Resonance, take out the Whimscott, turn one. I'm kind of with that. I'm with that. We're going to do that. Take out on you. And we going to get after it. And we going to get after it. This should be able to pick up the KO on this thing. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Like, Whimscott's not bulky at all. Super effective. Sad. He might swap it. That'd be kind of sad. Though. That'd be very, very sad. But if he doesn't swap, that's a big turn for us. Because then we take out his nice little support. No Tailwind for him. No Taunts. All that good stuff. What are you going to do, Khan, sir? And Wimscots do not roll protect. Here goes my Dynamax. He's not swap. Actually, yeah, he's not swapping because usually swaps animations come out first. Come on, jeans. Come on, baby. Come on. I really do like this uh, the lead with Pikachu. I, I feel like I, I'm either leading Pikachu and Charizard or Pikachu and Lapras. I feel like that's like there's no really other way to go with this team. Let's see what he goes for. We're gonna go for Khan, sir. We're gonna be able to get off that fake out. That is just dandy. Yo, put that up. This thing has eject button. This thing has eject button. Of course it has eject button. Of course it has eject button. And he's gonna go out into something that could eat this shot up all day. Of course this thing has eject button. What? Like, come on, man. He's gonna go out in the Cinderace. Nice little play by him. EQ is popping. Pikachu goes down to Sash. I'm gonna nuzzle up on that Cinder. I can. Oh, he just killed his Cinderace. He just killed his Cinderace, dude. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Yo, my dude just killed his Cinderace. That's honestly hilarious. <laughs> we do massive damage on this thing. That is awesome. He just killed his own Cinderace, yo. You love to see it. You love to see him knock out a Cinderace and then turn off his game, bro. That is honestly hilarious. We take those wins, though. We take those wins. We go one and one. We can hop into our third and final battle and try to show off this team to its fullest potential in that final battle. That last guy totally forgot he was dropping an EQ. He totally forgot and just dumped on one of his best Pokemon, which, you know, we take those. This is our third and final battle, looking for a winning record. I count that one as a win, but hopefully we can get, like, a full-blown win here and kind of just roll out and actually win the battle. Uh, this guy's Metagross, Tapu Fini, Galarian Moltres, Landorus, Grimstarl, and a Regilecki. Like, total meta team right here. So if we could beat this, that'd be fire. Um, I feel like he's going to lead probably Lando. I feel like Lando's, like... Just gonna be getting the lead. I think we got Pikachu Charizard. I think Pikachu Charizard kind of thrive here as a lead. We don't get after that. I mean, Intimidate won't do much or anything to us. Um, I think I do. I go all starters and Pikachu. I kind of like that. <laughs> Just having fun with it. I mean, I mess with it. I like it. I dig it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's rock it. Let's rock it. I'm so with it. I'm so with all the starters, man. I just love having fun on the rank ladder more so than like actually trying to win. I'd rather have fun than win. I just feel like I just feel like it's better for me. I don't know why. Like I, if I get like too competitive into this, like the game just starts to like it bores me, and then it starts to get uh too repetitive and all that stuff. So I'd rather just relax, have some fun with it, and mess around for you guys. But this guy's gonna send out Regilecki and Galarian Moltres. Okay, I see you. Um, we have Lightning Rod, which is totally fine. I'm gonna pick out the Regilecki because he's definitely not gonna Dynamax Regilecki. Definitely not. And then I think I just, uh, I think I just roll out into a Digimax Wildfire. Or do I boost speed? I mean, Charizard should already be faster than Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres is like 150-something, right? Oh, yeah, Charizard. 168. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna set this, uh, get the Gmax Wildfire popping around. Yeah, uh, hopefully Pikachu outspeeds. I gotta check Pikachu's speed. I gotta check that out. Here goes my Dynamax. Let's get after it. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax. If he doesn't Dynamax, it's a big turn for us. Because Regilek, he's not going to get anything. And Galarian Moltres is just not going to do too much. I'm going to set up a nasty pot, But in that case, I just air stream next turn to make sure nothing goes down. Let's get it. My boy Charizard. Or, like, hopefully Regilek will start coming for Electric. But I feel like it's just here to set up screens. I really do think that's the play. Here goes Dynamax from... It's got to be Moltres, right? It's got to be Moltres. Because there's no way... They, the Master Ball it has to be Red Light, right? Yeah. The Master Ball has to be Red Light, considering that thing's shiny, I think. I think it's shiny. He definitely was like, yeah, let's Master Ball this thing. Let's throw it out there. Yeah, is that the, yeah, that thing's looking shiny. It's looking shiny. Fake Out comes out. Get him out of here. Mwah. No turn for you. Flinch, that thing cannot move. And a Wildfire will actually outspeed. Let's shoot you. Wildfire outspeed you. Don't bring it past half. Thank you very much. And now let's see what it does. Now let's see what it does. We could definitely double up into it after this. And he's going to go for an Airstream. That's totally fine. Airstream on to Charizard. Hmm. A little scary here. That's a little scary. Now the thing definitely has to use. We should have went for an Airstream, but I kind of want to get this out of Oh, this little burn damage. I can't nuzzle. I can't protect and nuzzle this turn. And I think that's going to be the play. I think we protect and nuzzle. I think we nuzzle up on you. And then we guard, because that's just going to slow it down in general. I like that play. I like that play a lot. Even if he's plus two, I think Nuzzle's going to cancel out a lot of that. And Regilecki cannot do much against us. He's going to withdraw Regilecki. Love to see it. He's going to send out whom? He's going to send out Lando. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Lando doesn't, doesn't do much here. We're both special attacking. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. I don't mind it. Here's my guard. Put my guard up, baby. Go ahead, airstream into me, buddy. You're not gonna airstream into me. I mean, I'll take that turn all day. So, I'll take that turn. We're gonna be able to get off a nuzzle. Our sash comes out. I think he, I think he read the guard hard, which is pretty good. I think it might be choice, which is scary. He could drop a rock. That is gonna drop our special defense. Berserk's gonna pop here. No, Berserk does not pop yet. Here's my nuzzle. I really like. And he might guard this turn. Because the flames are burning. Flames are burning. There's that. There's that. And I feel like we just... We cannot nuzzle up in him. Maybe just helping hand. Do we see this in guarding? That's the real question. I, I feel like I see this in guarding. I'll just say we airstream over on the U. I see Moltres potentially guarding here. He does not guard. That buttery biscuit. Oh, he does guard. Yes, he does guard. Okay, helping hand comes out first. Nice play by Jeans, baby. Jeans coming up big. Let's get it. Take this thing out. Get out of my face. Your boy Jeans. Your boy Jeans making the reads. He's making the reads. We got speed advantage out. And Berserk didn't pop yet. Is he not Berserk? Or did I just miss, miss the animation? Did I just not see it? But we're definitely out speeding. Wildfire's chipping away. We can get off another nuzzle. I'll take out Bird next turn. With an airstream, I think? Yeah, we'll airstream it. Get my speed boosting. Here goes Regilecki. Hi, how's it going, buddy? Regilecki, I don't know if you're out speeding my boy. I can't. Can I nuzzle up on, on Regilecki? I don't want to try. Now I'm definitely just dropping Heat Wave. I'll probably helping hand Heat Wave. I think that's the play. Yeah, I think that's the play. Helping hand. Let me check Pikachu's speed. I don't want to check out Pikachu's speed. 
just because I'm curious. Just because I'm curious. 156. Crowd Surge 167 plus one. We, I'm thinking we could outspeed this, uh, Regilecki. I mean, he's not going to kill my Charizard, I don't think, considering he can't use electric moves. So I think we might just pick up a double KO. All right, let's see. Helping hand comes out. Oh, right. Get those claps. He's going. Ready to help Charizard. Hyper oh, this thing's rocking Hyper Beam. Jesus, man. <laughs> no! Dang, I should just I should just target down that Moltres. This thing's rocking Hyper Beam. All right. Kind of scared here. I'm kind of scared, but at the same time, I'm not. Big Chew goes down. Flames are gonna come out here. Well, flame is that last turn of flames? That last turn. Show me we have one more turn left in flames. I feel like we do. We have to go Blastoise and Venusaur. Um, what's called cannot move? He cannot move right now, which is huge. Regilecki. I feel like we get after this. I feel like we take advantage of this. The Regilecki has to recharge. So if I got Pokemon. I just want to see the speeds. I just want to see the speeds. Who's faster? It should be Blastoise, right? No, Venusaur is. Okay. Okay, Bean. I see you, buddy. Um, I could Iron Defense boost. This could be a free Iron Defense turn. Boost. But again, I need Regilecki kind of get out of here. Hmm. I feel like it's rolling Finny in the back, so I feel like there's no need for that. I think we need you gone, Regilecki. I'm gonna make sure this Moltres goes down. I don't want to get it off the turn. He must recharge. You're gonna outspeed all my Pokemon. Thank you, Venusaur, for dodging. Surprised he outsped me. Get out of here. Good work, Venusaur. Good work, buddy. Good work. Okay, so that thing has to recharge. Liquidation comes out. Okay, it connects. Which is wonderful. That's your KO. Yep. Oh, yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Charizard Reed coming up clutch. It might just want me game. So many Finny in the final spot. All the starters, red seams firing up. Is it Finny? Is it Finny? It is Finny, baby. It is the Fencers. That's, that's, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. I'm, just, I'm gonna put this thing to sleep. Just to make sure we pick up, pick up a nice big fat W. Let's let's, let's make it go to let's make it go rest. I could life do here. Actually, I am gonna life do. I think should outspeed both of us. Oh, I could sludge bomb too. I'm gonna sludge bomb. I'm just gonna get after this thing. I'm just gonna keep poking at. He might cancel the battle. Let's see what he does. He does not cancel the battle. Sludge bomb comes through first. I think uh, Tapu should be able to outspeed my Blastoids. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna calm mine. Oh, you dirty dog. You dirty dog. I should just went after it. I should just double through it. He doesn't have Dynamax. Yeah, Dynamax to burn. You calm minded. You crazy. You are crazy. You know my boy outspeeding you. You know that's game. You know that's game. I hope you know that's game. I'm not like doing. You get after this thing with a body press. Actually, nah. I'd rather just liquidation this thing. I do a little bit more. But yeah, you're done. Get him out of my face. I'm sick of this thing. I'm sick of this top of Finny. Actually, he. Protect, yo. <laughs> lame. You are lame. You are lame, Top of Finny. You are lame. You're not taking out my Venusaur in one shot. My Venusaur outspeed you. And now I'm going to put you to sleep. Actually, I don't want to really risk putting you to sleep. I'd rather just go for a sledge bomb and double up into it. You need me protect and get my HP back. Lame. Lame. Uh, which move is actually doing more damage? 90, 90. I'd rather maybe get the poison. Maybe lower special defense. Actually, we're gonna get we're gonna get after the grass. We're gonna get after the grass. We're gonna go for that energy ball, baby. You don't want it. Yes, sir. Energy ball. Hey, hey oh, that thing. I mean a defense drop or special defense drop. We don't get it. Muddy water comes out. That's GG, baby. You ain't doing nothing to us. You're not doing anything. Let's get it. There's a real victory right there. We're gonna end up going two and one for today's video. Blast is gonna come in here, pick up the KO with a little, little bit of liquidation, take it out, drop it. But big plays for me, calling that max guard, taking out that Lando, rolling out, and getting ourselves our second win for today's video.
Winning record with Red's team? Let's go, guys. That was actually hype. I had a blast playing this team, so shout out to my boy Ricky for dropping it in my Instagram DMs. If you guys want to leave me Pokemon teams or teams for Sword and Shield, head over to the link in the description below, jeans underscore YouTube on Instagram. DM me over there. Just send me the code or send me a picture of the team with the code included, and I'll let you know if I'm going to be playing it on my YouTube channel. But, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.